Behind every Greenpeace campaign, there's a huge amount of research and investigation that goes on that you don't see. And sometimes that means getting out of the office and away from your comfort zone and getting on things like that. My name is Sarah and I'm a campaigner at Greenpeace and I work on forests. I'm feeling a little bit apprehensive because I'm about to spend the next few days on this really tiny plain circling around different areas to document any new deforestation that happens because of soya. So what I hope is that we can find some new, new evidence to take to corporations and so they can use their buying power and their influence to, to make change happen here. The particular zone of interest for us is, is this area in the, in the centre zone of the Mato Grosso state. Today uh, we are working on, uh, on the monitoring of the soy cultivation in the Amazon. So we uh, are doing an, uh, a flight over the southern uh, zone of the Amazon uh, biome. The Amazon rainforest covers a huge area, about 5% of the Earth's surface. So one of the best ways to spot new deforestation is from the air. That's where the tiny plane comes in. We've, we've been flying over vast areas of forest huge areas of agriculture cutting into the forest like a patchwork. We can get really low down to the ground so that we can see when deforestation is happening and we can see uh, what, what crops have been planted. A smaller team spends a week undercover doing on the ground checks in the field to make sure that the crops we see planted are definitely soya. The trip's gone well so far, but we have faced a few problems. So we've had some bad weather. Not only has that meant that the ride's been a little bit bumpy, um, it's also made visibility difficult at times, so we've had to change our routes. 55, we've seen some new areas of deforestation, and we've seen some new soya crops planted on areas um, that were recently deforested. So we need to cross this information uh, with the satellite uh, data. Once back in the Geolab, we overlay the satellite imagery with documentation and photos from the plane and in the field to get a complete picture of what is going on. The main thing that I've taken from uh, the flights that I've been on over the past few days, just how near to the forest some of these soya farms are, really get a sense of how the moratorium are really holding back the tide of deforestation, how fragile that is. Deforestation has increased in the areas that we monitor and that has happened for the first time ever since 2006 when the moratorium began. So this year Greenpeace will begin to build support for a zero deforestation law in Brazil.